Hello everyone, welcome back to an exciting video where we are diving into the world of hardware. As we all desire faster rendering without emptying our wallets, we'll be taking a close look at the vast array of graphics cards available in the market. Not every pricey card guarantees top-notch performance, so we'll conduct a comparison of various GPUs to help you pinpoint the ideal hardware for light tracer render. Ready to get started? Let's dive in! You might already be aware that Light Tracer works its magic by computing the image using the graphic processor. Pretty neat, right? Modern GPUs are packed with thousands of trim processors working together to process tens of thousands of rays simultaneously. This incredibly cool feature allows rendering to be done much faster than, than using a CPU. Alongside the GPU, the graphics card also houses graphics memory which can significantly impact the calculation speed. In certain algorithms, the calculation speed might be limited by the memory bandwidth, resulting in underutilized GPUs. Such algorithms are called memory bound and can be found in hash calculations for mining, so the hash rate is primarily limited by memory bandwidth. Unfortunately, memory bandwidth doesn't increase as quickly as the computing power of GPUs. This means that with the release of next-gen hardware, we might not see a significant boost in performance, and GPU underutilization could become an even bigger issue. If the algorithm's speed is limited by the computing power, it's called compute-bound. In this case, you can anticipate a significant boost in speed after the upgrade. Knowing all that, let's move forward and decide how we will evaluate the cards. Each graphics card has a stated performance measured in teraflops. We will be interested in how it correlates with rendering speed and whether it can be relied upon. And of course, there is a retail price, so the most interesting indicator is the performance per dollar. Let's introduce our participants. From the green team we have RTX 2080, RTX 3060 and RTX 4080. From the red team we have one card, but it's Radeon 6800 XT. We also have a new player on the market, Intel with its ARC A770. In fact, the card is very interesting, because with a retail price of $300 it promises us 17 teraflops, only slightly inferior to the Radeon, for about $600. The battle promises to be interesting, so let's get straight to the test without further ado. We have selected some nice scenes to compare the cards. The first one is a jewelry scene. The very long light transport paths arise due to reflections in diamonds. Our cards handled it like this. Up next is the whiskey glass scene which fully showcases the new cool caustics mod introduced in Light Tracer Render 2.6 based on bidirectional path tracing. In this case, our participants performed as follows. Are you a fan of a classic muscle cars? If so, you'll enjoy the next scene featuring a yellow Mustang, which represents another example of product visualization scenario. Here are results. We'll wrap up with an interior scene featuring numerous hidden light sources and glass windows allowing light to penetrate from the outside. Rendering this scene isn't a simple task, and here's how our cats tackled it. Let's correlate the obtained FPS with the declared teraflops. The results are as follows. What can we conclude? Firstly, performance in teraflops more or less correlates with the actual rendering speed in Light Tracer, indicating that the rendering engine is predominantly compute bound. However, the RTX 4080 doesn't exhibit the expected performance based on its teraflops, particularly in an interior scene with numerous 4K textures. It's likely that rendering has become memory bound on such a fast GPU with memory bandwidth even lower than that of the RTX 3080. Nevertheless, you can still adhere to a simple rule. Choose any GPU that offers more teraflops for less money. We've noticed that Nvidia and AMD cards are quite comparable in rendering efficiency. However, 
in the same performance range, AMD cards are typically more affordable and offer a larger amount of graphics memory. For instance, our Radeon 6800 XT has 16GB compared to the 10GB found in the RTX 3080 card. This means you can save some money while also getting more out of your hardware. But the real game changer for us is the Intel ARC A770 card. It even outperforms the Radeon 6800 XT, effectively utilizing all of its 17 teraflops. In gaming, there's still a considerable difference between these cards due to under-optimized drivers, but as we can see, the card truly shines in computational tasks. Priced just above $300, this card also offers 16GB of fast graphics memory. So if you're looking to save money and still get a powerful rendering system, this is a good option to consider right now. We hope this video assists you in selecting the perfect card for your needs. Let us know which card you are using for rendering in the comments. Good luck, please share the video and see you next time.